Hello, my fashion lovers. Today is a design session day. We are going to have a look at Rosie Turlington and the black dress that she wore at um, yes, British Fashion Awards. You have to admit, the woman is drop-dead gorgeous and anything you would put on her would look amazing. So how did they manage to screw it up? Let's have a look at it. So Rosie has this very long neck, long arms. However, we have to have a look separately at her shoulders and her neck. They're very strong. And the slope that goes down between her neck and the shoulder is the place that makes this whole construction on her body looks very feminine. This little slope, remember it for now. So before I explain to you the pairing of the woman and the dress, I have to explain you a little bit about two of basics of visual perception. First of the basics is shapes and how our eyes perceive shapes in space. I'm not going to go through multiplicity of combination. It's going to be an endless conversation. I'm going to take today two pairings that are actually pertinent to our conversation. Triangle is tapering up, going upwards, creating this finer, we could say, feminine shape. Horizontal rectangle is just so very steady, strong, masculine. Here, rectangle is vertical, which instantly gives it elevation, going upwards, some kind of fragility, femininity, versus the trapeze that is quite steady, again, strong and masculine. Now let's have a look at what happens when we stack them up. Wouldn't you say that this looks very soft and feminine and this very strong and masculine? Second basic is dark versus light. Those two circles are completely identical size. But when you look at the white one, it feels like it's expanding. It looks like it's going bigger, wants to go towards you. And when you look at the black one, it feels like it's retracting, like goes small or goes backward. So this is how our eyes perceive it. Anything that's light looks bigger and anything that's dark looks smaller. All right, now let's get back to Rosie. Can you see it yet? Well, how about now? So how did we go from this to this? It's this wispy horizontal scarf that has covered up the very place that makes her body construction look feminine. So what to do here? How to fix it, you'll ask me? Well, the most obvious is to remove the scarf. <gasps> Sexy, don't you think? How long and uninterrupted this line is right now. And how about removing all the straps and scarves altogether? I do admit it looks a little bit beachy, summery, so maybe not season appropriate, I grant you that. Well, how about another idea? Playing with the triangles of the dress itself, having a strap going down, creating a V, and then inverted V that's joined with the dress. And then we completely break apart this big um, horizontal rectangle and instead create really feminine shapes. And again, look how long the arms look and everything becomes elongated all of a sudden. Or we can go back to the original strap across and add one more thin strap going down into the underarm, this way breaking apart completely the light color the staticness of light color and creating some more interesting rhythm and again creating more vertical line and creating more triangles. We love triangles. Triangles are good for your soul. I'm joking. Or am I? As a designer, no matter how good your sketch looks to you and how good it looks on the runway model, when you put that dress on a regular woman, you have to respect her shape and to make sure that you are creating visual resonance. Does anyone know if this is a Chanel dress? Because it's reminded me of this dress right here, which also the first time I saw it created complete dissonance in my mind, but for completely different reasons. 
Let me know if you want me to deconstruct this one. And of course, if you have seen dresses that didn't make any sense to you, but you can't quite put, on your, put your finger on why, send them over and we will have a look at them together. Guys and girls, let me know if this video was clear. Have you learned anything? Do you have any more questions? Write some comments below in the comment box. And bye-bye for now. Mwah!